I am very much aware that most of my students currently know how to use Google it. Yes, you know how to use Google it to get imagery, you know how to use Google to do one or two things. But I'll be showing you what you do not know about Google it. And at the end of each of the training sections, there are assignments attached to them. I'll be sending assignment per student. So get set, get, get your mind open, and get ready to learn, as I'll be exposing some mysteries in Google it. Without any further ado, let's get started. Here we are back with the same tutorial, trying to show you how you could use Google it. Personally, I don't know. But I'm going to be showing you some little things I think it's best for you. So this video is going to be pretty really long, but you have to just follow and let's get started, okay? Okay, I'll be introducing the Google Ads in full, even though you know, just watch the video. Alright, with this thing, there are functionalities to them, like the save, you know, save image and all that. But what I want to be showing here is the import. You could import a shape file into Google Ads and it will take you to the location you want. All you need is just to navigate to the part where you have shapefile. Oh, I do not have shapefile at all. Okay, I have. Okay, so you have to choose shapefile for it to come. I do not have shapefile. I think I drew that always. So, let's forget about that. So, basically, once you click on the shapefile, it's going to come. And you just put it it's going to take you to the location instead of having to come and search for it you could use shape file to do that so you come to file and you go to import then you navigate to your folder you change the file type as any of the file you have you could go through the files or you could just basically use all files now you see all file we have even photoshop showing so if we come to our work now we'll have other files showing so excel will show every file will show so you just select all files and select the files that suit best to what you want to do and import it now on edit uh, there's nothing in edit view good now basically if you want to use google to download satellite imagery you have to remove all the side and all that so if i remove the side this one will go if I remove the toolbar, the, this one will go. If I remove the status bar, this will go too. So this will give you room to be able. This will give you room to be able to uh, download the satellite imagery the way you want it. Okay. So, but that's none of our concern now. We'll bring everything back. So that's what view does for you. Now, where we want to actually specialize now is the tool. On the tool, you go to options. This is where we set up our Google Ads the way we want it. Now, I made mention in the previous video that depending on what you want to do and the coordinate system you intend using, you come here under options and other 3D views. Then you come under show large and long to change anything. We have the military grid reference system. We have the universal travels Mercato. We have the degree minute second which was our default and then we have the degree minute okay this is degree decimal minute this degree minute seconds and then we have the decimal degrees so let me select universal travels micato utm okay that's and then you could uh, under general you could check out anything you feel like here but anytime you have anything you need to do you come under options and then you change it right that is one now for this um for this very uh exercise we're going to be using google ed but we will not be needing any of this this is what we need we need the decimal degrees so you change your google ed to decimal degrees and you're okay so on the view there was something we remove status bar good now this one will give us reports of the um the coordinate so you can see that our coordinate is at decimal degrees all right now this next tax you're going to be doing will require an excel file so you bring out your excel your microsoft excel 
and you turn it on because what we are going to do now we'll title it uh, generating data from google earth and we're going to be doing point data we've downloaded satellite imagery now we want to acquire some data with google earth so the first thing is for some people i'll be telling them to do other things as their assessment okay for some i'll be giving but now what we want to do basically we want to acquire schools within abuja So let me just use school as in direct. Uh -uh. Schools in Abuja. And then I will search. Now you will see the schools that appear. They look so many, but they are not too many. Now each of them come in pages. So by the time we start, if I set pitch, if I click on this one, it will take me to page 2. You see different school will come out. If I go down again, it's going to take me to another page. It's telling that there are more page loading. So when you finish just the first school they give, it does not mean you finish all the schools in that location. Because there will be pages, 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 and pages until you don't see anything here. It means it's the last page. That's the first thing I want you to take note here. Now, how are we acquiring this coordinate now here is the school you will zoom very well to where the school is located okay so this is the school environment and it is galaxy schools okay these are just descriptions someone wrote but the name of the school is galaxy schools so i will pick my place mark and take it to where that one is so this may not be as accurately as possible but the school is within that place so what you will do here you will just copy well on your latitude you copy the latitude without that degree sign right click and copy then you will go to excel on the excel we are going to be typing name that's name of school that's the field you need to create name of school or school name and it's going to be state and it's going to be location and then next it's going to be all right so after location you put to identify whether this is a database we are creating because we will need this as a cause of the training but that's why I want us to touch every aspect so take this seriously I want us to touch every aspect that requires data creation so this will form as our database at the end of the training so the next one will be a uh, type of the school let's what type is it a primary school is it a nursery school is it a secondary school is it a university so you okay check the type you type type then you say ownership well if you have a name better than this you will your, your idea is welcome so ownership then lastly is going to be the lat and long then here we already have the school name we have this box have to be big the school name so we paste the name we just copy control v Oh, oh sorry I copy latitude with I forget control X the large control V okay I did you first copy the school name I did not remember to do that all right so let's finish up with the coordinate first then our long control C we'll come back and control uh oh oh, already press Ctrl C, Ctrl C, and Ctrl V. Then what is the school name? To copy the school name, just click here once. 
then we copy galaxy schools control c now you see the address of the school that's where location comes in so you click and you control v then here you choose this and you select destination formatting that is going to follow what this one has been doing Abuja, let's Abuja is our state for now. But they say in a capital Tori Tori. I've been a territory and I don't know. Location and that's what we're going to get from the Google. Now the location they say it is where in number three Akiro a four honor crescent. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to pick here, I'm going to just pick Guarimpa because it's in life cam. I don't know whether I got them, but well, those that know Abuja will know whether it's true or not. So me, I'm going to put what I'm seeing on the image, Guarimpa, as my location. And you know, most of private schools in Nigeria are combined. So ownership is private. From the name, you know it's private. Then when they say schools, let's assume it's primary and secondary an assumption now since it's primary and primary I like to do about do things because they want more money so we've started our database creation we're done with patron filling so that's how you follow all the schools you are seen on the satellite imageries now this is one in Guarimpa actually it's in Guarimpa you can see so the next one Starville Starville school you do the same thing you copy the star veil this one is still in Guarimpa you copy and you paste always remember to select the destination formatting the moment you press A Abuja will come in press G Guarimpa will come in press the same pre to come in if you press pre it's going to come in <coughs> okay but by the time you add your public school to it it's going to be you have to say pu or pr before it comes out so you zoom well so that you can bring your place mark as usual i'm repeating this step because i want you to get it so you copy your latitude ctrl c Control V. Control C. Control V. So basically, this is how you're going to be doing until you're done with all the schools within that location. So this is one. Secondly, still on the point data acquisition. What are the other points data acquisition we need to do? We have school, we have hospitals, we have um, hotels, we have what again? Public building like the embassies within Abuja and Lagos. They are all point future, they are area of interest. We have banks, we have markets. Okay, so basically for this, I have 29 students for this training. So I'm going to split everything within Abuja. I'm going to send you what you're going to be working on. Some will be working on schools. One person will take school within Abuja. One person will take hospital, one will take market, so that I'll, we will be able to achieve something at the end of the training. Okay? So basically, at the end, we will exchange the data so that everybody have different data we can use for querying and analysis. Okay? So basically, this is what you're going to be doing for this very training. So this is Google Ed, and I will see you in a bit to conclude with SAS Planet and Landsat image downloading. I see you in a bit.